First here at 6, some former inmates in Minneapolis say they've been left stranded by the same organization that promised to help them. Now, the people claim that they were given just 24 hours notice to get out of their transitional housing. Our Mary McGuire has been looking into the sudden change. She joins us live tonight with what she's learned so far. Mary? Well, Better Futures Minnesota is literally a lifeline for these former inmates as they trans transition away from prison and back into society. But tonight, for many, that lifeline is gone. Released from custody about a month ago, Anthony Jefferson says Better Futures Minnesota gave him the resources he needed to get back on his feet. It's very important because you don't want to go back to prison. The same is true for former inmate Terrell Shaw. You learn how to pay rent, you learn how to reintegrate into society. The nonprofit contracts with several county corrections departments to help former inmates when they get out of prison with low cost housing and jobs at their reuse warehouse or in deconstruction. But that structure and stability was ripped away suddenly this week. If we're going to have a justice system that means anything, we got to support people when they get out. And this is the opposite of that. Fox 9 has learned more than a dozen former inmates in the nonprofit program who were out on parole with Hennepin County were told they had to leave the facility with less than 24 hours notice on Wednesday night. They say their parole officers didn't give them an explanation for the sudden change. Advocate Marvina Hayes says she scrambled to help find a place for the men to go. Sending them back to jail is the last thing that they need when they're doing the um, things that the society say that we must do as a human being. The group is now demanding concrete answers as to why this all happened, but so far they haven't gotten any from the county or the nonprofit. We reached out to Better Futures and a representative tells Fox 9 they are still waiting for answers from Hennepin County too about the reasoning behind the situation. Now, I also reached out to Hennepin County today and they declined to provide any specifics about their relationship with Brett Better Futures Minnesota and why this all may have happened. Reporting live in Minneapolis tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.